everybody, Just to Watch the Movies here. If you guys like ranking videos, Blu-rays, Funko Pop hauls, and free stuff, consider subscribing to my channel down below so you don't miss a thing. I can't believe 2018 is so close. We have a lot of great movies in 2017 and a lot of movies to look forward to in 2018. So I'm here today to bring you my list for my most anticipated movies of 2018. I wanted to keep this list a little bit different. I didn't want it to have it be Avengers and Star Wars and superheroes and all those big ones coming out next year. I wanted to have I wanted to have a variety of different movies in this list. Of course, there are a couple Marvel films and Star Wars things in there. Can't help it, but there is a variety of movies to be had in this list. So let's get this list started. Coming in with some honorable mentions for some ones that I'm looking forward to, but just didn't make the cut. And those are Black Panther, Pacific Rim Uprising, New Mutants, Venom, Rampage, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, Ant-Man, Aquaman, the animated Spider-Man movie, and Tomb Raider. So those are some movies that I'm looking forward to just to make the top 10 list. So let's get this list started with number 10. I'm really looking forward to the new Robin Hood film coming out, I think September 2018, starring Taron Egerton. I adore him in the Kingsman movies. He is a great actor and anytime that I read something or watch something about Robin Hood, I am always enthralled by that storyline. Something about Robin Hood always pleases me. I've watched most of the Robin Hood films and there's just something that I really enjoy about the character. Can't really explain why, but I just really enjoy watching Robin Hood movies. So I'm excited for a kind of newer take they say on this Robin Hood character. I like Taron Egerton, Jamie Foxx is going to play in the movie as well. I'm super excited for this movie. I've always loved watching Robin Hood, even the Disney animated classic and the one with Russell Crowe in the Robin Hood Men in Tights. I love everything about Robin Hood. I love reading about Robin Hood. So I'm excited for this new Robin Hood film coming out next year. Coming in at number nine is The Grinch. I love reading The Grinch. As a teacher, I love reading The Grinch to my students in December time. And I've always loved watching the Jim Carrey version growing up and I've loved watching the cartoon version as well. I'm not a big fan of Illumination's work. I think they're just kind of mediocre, but I am excited for a new version of The Grinch, an animated version starring Benedict Cumberbatch as The Grinch. That is perfect casting. So I'm super excited. Not only do I get to see a new Grinch film, we get a new holiday movie next year. I feel like that was lacking this year with some holiday films. I'm excited for that next year. Coming in at number eight is Solo, a Star Wars story based around Han Solo. I'm a little bit worried about this film because of all the production uh, mishaps that went into it. You know, losing the directors and then gaining the director and then hearing it that they had to hire acting coaches for the guy playing Han Solo because they didn't really like how it was. A lot of things are kind of just concerning for me, but it is Star Wars. I do like Han Solo. We'll get to see Chewbacca in it. I'm excited for that. I really don't know much about the movie. There's no trailers, anything. We just can kind of speculate how he's going to look, but it is a Star Wars movie. I am looking forward to it. I am looking forward to learning more about Han Solo. I'm not expecting him to be better than Harrison Ford in any means, but I am still looking forward to this movie. Coming at number seven is Isle of Dogs. I'm a huge Wes Anderson fan. I own all of his movies on Criterion or either Blu-ray. And he is quirky and he is an acquired taste. I don't feel like the general audience really understand his work, but a lot of his movies I just really am invested in. And I'm excited to see another stop animated movie that he kind of did with Fantastic Mr. Fox. This one looks just as quirky as other movies that he's done. So I'm definitely looking forward to Isle of Dogs coming out, I think March, so very soon. So I'm excited for that one. Coming in at number six is Ready Player One. This one looks crazy and I love the second trailer. You have seen a lot more characters from like Overwatch and Chucky and then there was some other ones I can't remember. The trailer was really cool with the cool soundtrack. I think this movie is going to be a lot of fun. They're gonna use a great soundtrack and I don't think we're gonna see a lot of these video game characters or movie characters a lot, but when you do see him, you're gonna point them out and you're gonna have fun with it. I think it's gonna be a fun adventure film of him trying to find this Easter egg to you know, win the money from the Oasis. I think it's gonna be a really fun film and Steven Spielberg is a great director. I know it's gonna be good. Coming at number five is Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. Um, yes, Mamma Mia, hear me out. I am a huge 
fan of musicals. Something about musicals and boxy movies. Boxy movies is another one, but that's not <laughs> musicals. Show me a Rocky musical and I'll be happy. I just get very energetic when watching musicals and Mamma Mia, it is a bad film, but it is a guilty pleasure because I do love a lot of ABBA's music and they are uh, integrated very nicely into the storyline of a girl trying to meet her father right before her wedding. And I've seen the play Mamma Mia out in Seattle and I really just loved it and I really enjoy the movie. It is not a good movie by any means, but the musical numbers in here work so well and the cast just seems to be so involved in what they're doing. So when they announced that Mamma Mia 2 was coming out in July with the original cast, I was like, well, that's a surprise, but I'm definitely on board because I loved watching Mamma Mia and I love all of ABBA's music. It is a treat and I can't wait to see Mamma Mia 2. Coming in at number four is The Incredibles 2. Now, I wasn't expecting much from The Incredibles until a few weeks ago. I catched The Incredibles on ABC Family and I always just said, you know, The Incredibles is an okay Pixar movie. I don't know if I really paid attention to it. And I sat down to watch it and I said, this is a really good movie. And I think a lot of it has to do with the family members getting together and acting as a family, but also acting as superheroes. Those moments are really cool and I like each one individually and their powers and it's just not about the superhero. You can tell that it's just not about being big and grand as a superhero. People just might live normal lives and I'm so excited that this movie takes place right after the first one because there isn't time to where you have to figure out what have they been doing. It's literally picking up and then continuing that story, which is so exciting. I'm so excited for The Incredibles 2. I hope that it's just as good as the first one. I heard we'll get a little more of Jack-Jack and the mother, so that should be fun, but I do hope that there are moments where they're all together kind of battling someone, and it's fun. Coming in at number three is the new Mary Poppins film, which is released December, so about a year away from now. I'm excited for Mary Poppins. I know it's not going to be the original. I know that Emily Blunt is not going to be Julie Andrews. I already know that, but I'm still excited for Mary Poppins. I watched Mary Poppins first time fully all the way through when I was in college and I was like blown away by this film of how the animation worked and the musical numbers and the story. It was just so beautiful. And when they announced the new one, and there's already a story based on this from the author, but I am so excited for a new Mary Poppins movie. I hope that it catches, I hope that it has the same charm from the first one and I hope that Emily Blunt does give a good performance. I, like I said, I'm not expecting her to be Julie Andrews, but I'm still hoping that it is a charming film and it's a fun film that I will wanna see again. Coming in at number two is the new Halloween film, which is directed or written by Danny McBride of all people. Um, Halloween is my favorite horror movie franchise and uh, I, I will, I will, um, stand by the Rob Zombie films. The second one is not very good, but, but the first one by Rob Zombie is one of my favorite Halloween films. And I'm just ready for a new Halloween film. I'm ready for to go to the theater and watch a Halloween movie. I've never seen a Halloween movie in theaters, so I'm truly excited for this opportunity. And John Carpenter returning to do the score is going to be outstanding. It's going to be a good time. I could tell that there's a lot of interest and heart going into this movie already and I haven't even seen a trailer or anything just by I could just I could just tell by reading the articles and such that this movie is going to have a lot of care going into it I hope that it's bloody I hope that it's kind of funny a little um I heard that it's not I heard it's going I heard it's going to disregard many of the other films which I'm okay with um but I'm excited for a new Halloween film but the film I'm looking forward to the most this year is Avengers Infinity War. Of course, it's going to be Avengers. I am a huge Marvel fan. I like the Avengers movies. Age of Ultron was okay, but I remember going to the theaters to see Avengers and having a just overall good experience with that movie. And I'm excited to see all of these characters we have learned about over the last 10 years built up into one movie and they've been working towards something. You can really tell that about the Marvel films is that they've been working towards something and they are working towards this movie. And it's not going to be the end of the Avengers because you got the second one coming out the year after that. 
So I'm looking forward to it, the Avengers. I'm looking forward to the Guardians meeting other characters. I'm looking forward to Thor working with Doctor Strange and Doctor Strange working with Iron Man and having Black Panther in there for this new movie. And I'm excited to see the new direction for the Marvel films after um, Disney acquiring 20th Century Fox. How can they incorporate Fantastic Four into the movies? How can they have the X-Men characters into the Marvel? I'm really curious. I understand that it's gonna kinda end. We're not gonna see them anymore. Captain America, Iron Man, Thor films, but I am excited for the new direction and the future for the Marvel films. But right now, I'm excited for Avengers Infinity War. So you guys have all the films I'm looking forward to in 2018. Of course, there's gonna be ones that sneak up and I wasn't expecting to enjoy or ones I don't even know about right now. Those That's what's fun about going to the movies is you kind of get surprised about certain movies. And of course, there's probably gonna be some disappointments in my list for next year, but hopefully not. Before I leave you guys, make sure to leave the films you're looking forward to next year down below. I'm curious as what films you're looking forward to the most. And one last thing, guys. If you are a fan of t-shirts and unique geek t-shirts and movie t-shirts, TV show t-shirts, all of that, make sure to check out the website tblocks.com. They have a wide variety of different box subscriptions you can receive once a month that includes other goodies in there. If you enter the code JUSTINTBLOCKS, the link will be down below for that code as well, you will receive 15% off your order. So make sure to check out TBLOCKS if you guys are a fan of subscription boxes and t-shirts as well. Enter that code and you can receive 15% off your entire order. Make sure to check out TBLOCKS, the link will be down below, and the code to receive your 15% off your order. You guys are the best as always. Thank you guys for making 2017 a really great year. Let's make 2018 even better. You guys are the best as always. This is Just Watch Movies, and you stay classy, YouTube.